Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, pink uh, right triangle uh, EFB fully confined uh, in a blue square A, B, C, D as you can see in this uh, diagram such that the area of this uh, pink uh, triangle is uh, 120 centimeter square and the side length uh, of this uh, triangle uh, BF uh, is uh, 20 centimeter. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue square A, B, C, D. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, EFB whose one of the side lengths uh, is uh, 20 and now we are going to calculate uh, this other side length uh, EF and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height and in our case uh, our area is 120 and our height uh, is uh, 20 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so we got area as uh, 120 equals to our base uh, is uh, B and our height uh, is uh, 20 and uh, divided by 2. So let's simplify. So we got uh, 10 times uh, B equals to 120. Let's divide both sides uh, by 10. So therefore our base uh, B turns out to be 12 uh, centimeter so thus our this uh, side length uh, e f tends out to be 12 centimeter and here's our next step let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles in other words the sum of these uh, two angles alpha plus beta must be equal to 90 degrees now let's focus uh, on this uh, right uh, triangle uh, f d e Let's assume that this angle is uh, alpha. This is our 90 degree angle. So therefore this angle must be our angle uh, beta. Now let's focus uh, on this uh, other right triangle FCB. Let's focus on this angle alpha. This is our 90 degree angle. So therefore uh, this angle must be our angle uh, beta. And once again this angle is 90 degrees. So therefore this angle has got to be our angle uh, alpha so therefore we conclude that this uh, right triangle uh, edf uh, is uh, similar to this uh, other right triangle uh, bcf uh, according to angle angle uh, similarity theorem so therefore we are going to have a proportion in other words uh, the ratio of this side uh, df uh, and this uh, side uh, bc let me go ahead and write down uh, df divided by bc is going to be equal to the ratio of this uh, side uh, ef and this uh, other side uh, bf so let me go ahead and write down uh, ef divided by bf side length and now we can see our this uh, EF side length uh, is uh, 12 and our uh, side length uh, BF uh, is uh, 20. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this uh, EF by 12 and this uh, BF uh, by 20. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, right hand side uh, fraction. If I divide uh, both uh, numerator and uh, denominator by 4 that reduces to 3 divided by 5 so therefore our this ratio of df divided by bc could be written to 3 divided by 5 and now since uh, this left hand side ratio equals to 3 divided by 5 so therefore we can uh, write uh, this one as I can write uh, df uh, equals to 3 times some constant uh, k and likewise uh, this uh, bc is equal to 5 times some constant uh, 
k as well and now our task is uh, to calculate the value of this uh, constant uh, k so therefore our this uh, segment uh, df turns out to be 3 times uh, k and this uh, segment uh, bc turns out to be 5 uh, times uh, k and here's our next step let's make an observation since we are dealing with this uh, blue square a b c d that means all uh, these uh, side lengths uh, are uh, equal and if this uh, side length uh, b c is uh, 5 times k then this uh, whole uh, side length uh, c d is going to be 5 times k as well and we know that this uh, segment uh, df is uh, 3k so therefore this segment uh, fc is going to be 5k minus 3k is going to give us uh, 2 times k and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, bcf whose uh, side lengths are uh, 5k 2k and this hypotenuse is uh, 20. let's go ahead and apply the pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case uh, our longest leg uh, the hypotenuse is 20. so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula so we got uh, 2k whole square plus uh, 5k whole square is going to be equal to 20 whole square let's go ahead and simplify that's going to give us uh, 4 times uh, k square plus uh, 25 times uh, k square equals to 400 on the right hand side let's combine the like terms on the left hand side that's going to give us uh, 29 times uh, k square equal to 400 let's divide both sides by 29 so therefore uh, our k square value turns out to be 400 divided by 29 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, blue square a b c d and now let's recall the area of a square formula area equal to s square where s represents the side length of the square and in our case uh, the side length uh, of this uh, blue square is uh, 5k so therefore the area of this uh, blue square is going to be equal to 5k whole square let's simplify that is going to give us uh, 25 times uh, k square and now we know that our k square value we already figured out is 400 divided by 29 so therefore we are going to substitute over here so 25 times 400 divided by 29 let's uh, multiply out the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 10,000 divided by 29 so therefore the area of this uh, blue triangle a b c d turns out to be 10,000 divided by 29 centimeter square so thus the area of this uh, blue square a b c d turns out to be 10,000 divided by 29 centimeter square and that could also be written as equal to approximately 344.83 centimeter square and that's our final uh, answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye